This is the Music History Today podcast for August 23rd. On today's show, the Beatles play at Shea and someone plays piano for a very long time. First up, though, on this date in 1952, Kitty Wells became the first female music artist to hit the top spot on the Billboard Country Music Charts when her song, It Wasn't God Who Made Honky Tonk Angels, hit number one. In 1958, a woman named Musical Mary Ashton played piano in England for 133 hours straight. Why? I have no idea. But I have to figure that at the very end, it probably just turned into playing the song Chopsticks about 50,000 times in a row because her arms were tired. Anyway, in 1960, Johnny Cash played his first prison concert. In 1962, John Lennon married Cynthia Powell. In 1966, the Beatles played at Shea Stadium in New York City for the last time. In 1968, Ringo Starr got into an argument and quit the Beatles. He then took a couple of weeks off to cool down and came back to the band. In 1970, Lou Reed played with the Velvet Underground for the last time. In 1973, 63,000 people showed up for a salsa concert that was held at Yankee Stadium in New York City. In 1975, guitarist Paul Kossoff of the group Free had a heart attack and passed away in a hospital. However, he was revived after 35 minutes and lived for another year until he permanently passed away in an airplane bathroom in 1976. Honestly, I'm not quite sure which one was worse. In 1989, Rick Ocasek of the Cars married supermodel Paulina Portiscova. In 2008, Madonna started her Sticky and Sweet tour. In 2010, Julio Iglesias married model Miranda Reinsberger. And in 2013, Linda Ronstamp revealed that she had Parkinson's disease, and that was the reason why she suddenly stopped singing four years earlier. In classical music, in 1863, Franz Schubert premiered his piece Misa Solemnis. In 1879, Johannes Brahms premiered his violin concerto in D major. In 1952, Dmitry Shostakovich finished his fifth string quartet, and in 2018, opera great Placido Domingo performed in his 150th opera. In theater, in 1986, the musical Rags closed on Broadway, and in award ceremonies that were held on August 23rd in 2000, Kenny Loggins received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and in 2007, Brian May of Queen received his doctorate in astrophysics from Imperial College in London, and yes, he actually earned that degree that was not an honorary one. Albums that were released on August 23rd include in 1967 when Big Brother and the Holding Company released their self-titled album. In 1967, same day, Jimi Hendrix released the classic Are You Experienced? In 1968, Fleetwood Mac released Mr. Wonderful. In 1980, Tigers of Pang Yang released Wildcat. In 1982, Yazoo, or Yaz as they're called in America, released their classic Upstairs at Eric's. In 1983, Rat released their self-titled EP. In 1984, Frank Zappa released Boulez Conducts Zappa, The Perfect Stranger. In 1985, Diana Ross released Eaten Alive. In 1988, Jane's Addiction released Nothing Shocking. Also in 1988, Bad Company released Dangerous Age. In 1994, Jeff Buckley released Grace, and Dinosaur Jr. released Without a Sound. In 1995, Symphony X released The Damnation Game. In 1999, Gardanian released Soul Burner. In 2005, Yes released The Word is Live. In 2011, The Human League released Credo, and in 2019, Taylor Swift released Lover. Singles that were released in the UK on August 23rd include in 1963, when the Beatles released She Loves You and the Hollies released Searchin'. In 1974, 10CC released Silly Love. In 1982, Dire Straits released Private Investigations. And in 1993, Sting released Shape of My Heart. 
Meanwhile, in America, in 1972, Jim Croce released Operator. In 1974, Frank Zappa released Cosmic Debris. In 1975, Jefferson Starship released Miracles. In 1977, Linda Ronstadt released Blue Bayou. And in 1982, Rush released The Weapon. In 1988, Jane's Addiction released Jane Says, another classic. And in 2019, Black Bear released Hot Girl Bummer. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 23rd include the legendary drummer Keith Moon of The Who, rapper Lil Yachty, singer and actor Gene Kelly, the entertainer extraordinaire of Singing in the Rain fame, rapper and DJ Grandmaster Flash, Dean DeLeo of Stone Temple Pilots and also the group Army of Anyone, singer and actor Rick Springfield, DJ Shadow, Brody Dolly of The Distillers, rapper Tim Dog, Greg Carmichael of Acoustic Alchemy, Ari Up of the group The Slits, Jimmy Jameson of Survivor. By the way, he also sang the theme song from Baywatch. Now, try getting that song out of your head, I dare you. You're welcome. Rudy Lewis of the Drifters, Pete Shannon of the Nashville Teens, country music singer Tex Williams, Julian Casablancas of the Strokes, Mark Hudson of the Hudson Brothers, Jim Solms of the Shadows of the Night, Spaghetti McCall of the Reflections, singer-songwriter Roger Greenaway of Blue Mink, Bob Crosby of the Bobcats, Mark Avsek of Wild Cherry, Edwin Collins of Orange Juice, guitarist Gary Hoey, Sean Ryder of The Happy Mondays, singer Indiana Massara, singer Grant Nolch, singer Chrissy Costanza, singer Serge Pajic, singer KK, rapper Lil Lani, Will Toledo of Car Seat Headrest, rapper Skylar Gordy, rapper Remy Boy Monty, bassist and record producer Pino Presti, country music singer Rex Allen Jr., country music singer Woody Paul of the group Riders in the Sky, singer Bobby G of the group Bucks Fizz, singer Sedelia Marley of the Melody Makers, bassist Ira Dean of the group Trick Pony, country music singer Shelley Fairchild, singer Richard Neville of the group Five, trombonist Raul de Souza. Pianist and political satirist Mark Russell, vibraphonist Yeld Bondfield, and composer Ernst Krennic. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 23rd include organist Antoine Moak, who passed away in 1723 at the age of 64. Composer Giuseppe Saletto passed away in 1777 at the age of 77. Composer Corona Schroeder passed away in 1802 at the age of 51. Composer Amos Bulls passed away in 1825 at the age of 81. Composer Charles LaFont passed away in 1839 at the age of 57. Composer Adolf Lindblad passed away in 1878 at the age of 77. Organist Joseph Robinson passed away in 1898 at the age of 82. The man who manufactured the Baldwin piano, Dwight Hamilton Baldwin, passed away in 1899 at the age of 78. Harpist Therese Zamara passed away in 1927 at the age of 71. Composer Albert Roussel passed away in 1937 at the age of 68. Composer Johann Zilcher passed away in 1943 at the age of 88. Composer Nikolai Roslovets passed away in 1944 at the age of 63. 
Lyricist Oscar Hammerstein II passed away in 1960 at the age of 65. Composer Irving Fine passed away from heart issues in 1962 at the age of 47. Jazz musician and also the leader of the Casaloma Orchestra, Mr. Glenn Gray, passed away in 1963 at the age of 63. Composer Gisela Gonzalo passed away in 1971 at the age of 58. Pianist Balis Devorianis passed away in 1972 at the age of 68. Swing and Dixieland jazz cornetist and valve trombonist for the group The Chicagoans, Mr. Pete Daly passed away in 1981 at the age of 70. Composer Siegfried Boris passed away in 1987 at the age of 80. David Rose of David Rose and His Orchestra passed away in 1990 at the age of 80. Dwayne Gottel of the group Skinny Puppy passed away from a heroin overdose in 1995 at the age of 31. Trombonist Eric Allendale of the group The Foundations passed away in 2001 at the age of 65. Singer and actor Brock Peters passed away in 2005 at the age of 78. Composer Jacques Wildberger passed away in 2006 at the age of 84. Trumpet player extraordinaire Mr. Maynard Ferguson passed away in 2006 at the age of 78. Drummer Steve Foley of the group The Replacements passed away in 2008 at the age of 49. Singer David Garrick passed away in 2013 at the age of 67. Composer Asher Ben Yohanan passed away in 2015 at the age of 86. Pianist George Walker passed away in 2018 at the age of 96. Composer Mario Davidovsky passed away in 2019 at the age of 85. And jazz drummer Charlie Persip passed away in 2020 at the age of 91. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 24th, when in 1990, Sinead O'Connor takes yet another controversial stand. <laughs> 